Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And these two C-Jet electrician shears uh, were the last two pieces of the entire C-Jet product line uh, that I didn't have. I had done uh, videos originally on the uh, angled stripper scissors shear, you know, the larger Pelican one, the uh, utility shears, and they also make these. Oh, I also did this uh, combination pry bar set, but they make two um, smaller pairs of shears and this one's kind of unusual and I'm going to focus more on this so let's get this out of the way. This is very very similar to the Knipex. There are some differences I'll point out. Uh, this does have um, the uh, ability to crimp right here and two stripping holes right here. Um, it has some texture up here. Now th since this slopes I don't it's not going to work for reaming. I'm not sure what that's all about. If you got any ideas, let me know. This one also has the same texturing up here. Normally it'd be jimping like if you were moving up in order to use it like a knife. So not sure. But uh, the Knip X costs about 10 bucks more um, on Amazon. Quite similar. Uh, this uses the kind of the, the extra um, not only width, you can see there, but also the extra texture so you can move your hand up and use it kind of like electrician snips. Um, same here on the climb, you know, where if you were dropping it into your hand on these free fall ones, um, which are designed basically, you keep one finger in it and then you can flip them back up when you need them. But it gives you a little bit more, uh, more area here to reduce the pressure on your hand. But this is even more. Uh, here's something interesting though. I'm going to cover this right right now. There, there are openings, kind of cable capturing openings there, since all three can cut soft cable, but they are actually all three different. The way they approach um, this hole and the closing is kind of interesting. You know, this is like an oval, the last bit's pretty much in the center, so it's actually squeezing from both edges. Um, towards the center. Here it is primarily squeezing from the top down. Um, and then similar here, but a much, if you look at that, um, a, a, a different shape. Try to get my hand behind there so you can actually see, see the two shapes, uh, which are, uh, I don't know if there's better or worse, they're just different. So that's, that's actually something to notice. Um, if you are using these for their intended purposes. Anyway, uh, good solid feel. There's metal all the way around. If I grab some neodymium magnets, you can see that they're easily sticking to this um, throughout the ring. So it does have uh, good metal coverage, fairly stout. Um, there is a um, bit of a tip right way up there that you could slide to open boxes. It's not dramatic, so I don't know if it's intentional, but um, I can feel that, so you might be able to cut through some tape. But um, This one here has an, a unique handle, obviously, and basically you can operate it in four positions. You could use it, you know, like regu regular scissors, like this or like this, if you wanted. The reason you might do that is so you could jump up to this top platform while you're using it. Um, and then, of course, you can, you know, grab it here. This gives you a much, basically an unlimited reach, which is kind of nice. I've pointed that out before with C-Jet because um, I noticed with my Milwaukee shears, which I really like, um, that the openings in the C-Jets are just so much bigger. And I have fairly large hands, so it's nice to be able to get, you know, plenty of fingers in there, you know, for a little bit added um, added force, which is also why you go to the outside, you've eliminated the fingers, and now you're pushing directly on the palm, um, and you could even reverse that and get both um, four fingers up here and the palm, so you could really apply some force. But Milwaukee, you can see there's very small holes there, so you're really stuck. This is generally a thumb hole, you know, but it does uh, restrict it a little bit. And then if you look here, I can get three fingers in, but here, I can get four in and I've got room to move my thumb around so I can drop it way down to give myself more leverage at that end. But I digress. So uh, this one uh, is about 25 bucks, something like that. This one's about $5 more. 
very good quality. This also does have the metal all the way out to the end, so you can see, you know, it's holding holding the magnet through the um, through the rubber over mold there. This one has three different stripping holes and two different types of crimpers, as you can see labeled here. Stainless steel, just beautiful finish work on these. I really like C-Jet. Uh, it's just an interesting company. They, this is their entire product line sitting right here. Um, you know, some kind of kitchen shears, stripping angled shears, cardboard cutting. They might have a small, they do have a smaller one of these I've got somewhere. Now that I think about it. So I'm missing that out on the table here. Um, and then these two smaller ones. So they sent me these because they said, here, you need the entire product line. Um, and I'm glad they did. Uh, good, solid um, competitors. And as uh, I found out with some of the uh, um, the comments, we're not sure you know where these are made. It might be Italy. You know, if, if Knipex makes any of their own shears, it'd be very easy to outsource it to a quality company. But it is interesting to see some of those differences in the way it grabs and then closes. Um, they're they're distinct. You can see that there. Put it over. Maybe right there, you can see that the way that closes down. And then this one's even, you know, wider. Yet, the blades are all almost exactly the same length. Um, you can see this has a longer cutting surface there. Um, these are running a serration on one side. I think on all of them, yeah. All three are running a serration. But anyway, there they are. The Sea Jets. Good solid shears. Definitely uh, worth looking at. And with that, Doc out.